All right, guys. From the previous lecture, you know that uh, commands have options. And uh, please note that different commands may have different set of options. And in order to find out which options are available, you are able to use the command with dash dash help option, or you are able to use man pages in order to get information about specific command and its options. Also, please notice that uh, you could use either short options or long options. Short options are entered just with one dash and one single character, like dash a, dash r, dash p, and so on. Long versions have two dashes as prefix, like dash dash all, dash dash IP address, and so on. Some long versions of options have short versions, but not all of them. For example, dash dash help option does not have corresponding short version, like dash h. You could also combine different options together and uh, enter them separated by spaces, or you could combine short options. For example, dash a and dash p options could be combined and written as dash a p. All right. In this lecture, I'll explain you what is argument and how arguments could be used along with commands and options of those commands. And please notice that argument is simply custom input from user from you. And you could use different arguments and you could combine different arguments in different commands. Let me show you that. First of all, let me simply enter host name command. Host name. And notice that I have not entered any options or arguments. I have simply used command. And this command allows such usage. And the result of this command is simply host name of computer I am currently in. Similarly, works command u name. It also works without any arguments and options. But for example, if I enter a command mkdir, I'll see following error missing operand. Please use mkdir help for more information. And that means that this command couldn't be executed without argument. Let me find out which argument is expected by this command mkdir help. And here I see following line, usage, mkdir, option in square brackets and then directory. Those square brackets mean that option is optional and you could use mkdir command without any option. But directory here is not in square brackets. And that means that this directory is mandatory. And directory here is argument and name of directory is actually expected from you. That means that we are able to create new folder, new directory using mkdir command, supplying name of the directory as argument for mkdir command. Let's try that. Let's create new folder mkdir and here type test. Test is argument for mkdir command. Press enter and command was successfully executed. And now if I list files and folders here, I'll see newly created directory here on the list. Here it is, test. And that means that this command mkdir test was executed successfully. And actually you are able to supply any folder name you like. And that means that arguments are actually variable inputs from user. You could create new folder like test2, my folder and so on. Any name you want. That is argument. With some commands, you are able to use multiple arguments. Let's try it with mkdir command. And let's try to create two different folders just in one shift. Let me clear terminal and enter mkdir test1 space test2. Let's try it and let's list files and folders now. And now I see two newly created folders inside of the root folder. Here is test1 folder and here is test2 folder. And that means that we were able to use multiple arguments just in one command. And we have separated those arguments using space. Test1 and next test2. Alright, let me now show you how we are able to use another command in order to remove those three folders. Test, test1 and test2. And this command will be rm. Let's try to enter this command without any options and arguments. Simply rm. And again, I see here error missing operand. 
And uh, that means that this command also expects at least one argument. Let's uh, try to find out uh, structure of this command and uh, its options. And let me scroll a bit up. And here is a list of options uh, for this command. For example, dash r option or dash uh, capital R or dash dash recursive. Basically, here you see three different variants of the same option. You could remove directories and contents recursively. And that means that uh, if a specific folder contains subfolders, you could remove them as well just using one command. All right, let me scroll a bit up to beginning of this output and here I see usage line. RM option in square brackets and file also in square brackets. And this usage actually differs from usage of mkdir command where we have seen that file is actually mandatory argument or mandatory operand. And in this case we see that file is optional. It is not actually fully correct, but uh, in some cases you may see such a result. And that's because we are actually able to enter such command rm with option dash dash help. And we have not actually entered any file name, but command was successful. Also, we are actually able to enter command with other options without other files. For example, rm dash f. Let's do that. rm dash f and command will be successful. But this command actually did nothing and all files and folders remained in place. And that's the reason why we see here in this help output usage that file is optional. But usually if you use rm command, you supply of course the name of the files or folders you want to remove. And let's now remove folders that we have created before. Let's clear terminal and let's list files and folders here. And I want to remove this folder, this and this. Let's use first rm command with single operand or argument and let's remove test folder. And now I see error, cannot remove test, it is a directory. And that is a sign that we need to use some additional option in order to be able to remove directory. Let's have a look again at the possible options, dash dash help. Scroll a bit up. And here is this option, dash r, that will remove directories and their contents recursively. Let's try this option. Let's clear terminal and type rm dash r. And next after space we supply argument, name of the folder. Again here is command name rm, it is name of the executable file located in one of the bin folders located in path. Next comes option or you could use multiple options. And afterwards comes operand or argument. Test is argument. Let's press enter now. And now folder seems to be removed. Let's list files and folders now. And now there is no test folder here in this list. Let's use the same command in order to remove test1 and test2 folder and let's try to use two different arguments just in one command. rm r test1 space test2. And in this case we supply two different operands or arguments test1 and test2 and single option dash r. Or there is alternative version capital R like this. This option is the same to dash r. Notice that options are case sensitive. All right, let's press enter and now two folders will not be longer present here in this list. Wonderful. That's how we were able to combine options and arguments with command. Next, let me explain you how you could use arguments for options. It is also possible. In this case, we have used option without argument. But it is possible to use additional arguments with options, like dash r and then supply argument for specific option. But of course, not all options require arguments. And if you'll have a look at the list of options like so, and scroll up a bit, you'll see that for example, this option may have argument all. Or this option may have argument when. But uh, such options as one file system or no preserve root don't require any arguments and don't have any possible arguments. Let me talk about usage of arguments for options in the next lecture. I'll see you there. Bye bye.